Hello, and welcome to the intro video, or what is this, for the Game Jam Tips and Tricks video series. Basically, this is a video series that was designed to try to give you maybe a leg up if you're participating in a Game Jam, maybe show you a few small things you may not have known to help speed up your process, and then also an overview of certain features, like templates. Templates are a system that comes with Unreal Engine to allow you to get a quick start on certain types of games. But then in addition to that, we have some simple examples, things that you might want to commonly use or reuse, and then some common tips and tricks. Then we'll wrap this up with what other resources might be available to help you learn any more, or if you happen to get stuck and simply want help. So we have a playlist and whether you are viewing this offline or online you will find a few different types of videos. The first ones are our templates. Our templates are basically a short breakdown, you can see a couple minutes here, where we cover each available template inside of the engine, what it comes with by default, and then maybe after a little bit of time and resources what you could accomplish with it. Just a simple example. After that we have some simple actual examples, separate things that are common when you are creating a game that you might want to get a leg up on or see ways of doing them quickly and efficiently. Things like a start menu and a pause menu, some generic blueprints like doors and triggers, and then maybe some information like a saving and loading system. After that we have more videos. Now they're currently not here because, well, I haven't uploaded them yet, but by the time you watch this they should be where they are tips and tricks on certain topics. For example, we have the geometry brushes, as you can see here. In addition to that, we have other things like blueprints, audio, user interface, other resources, and things like that. Now, after all that's said and done, well, what else is there? Well, we have the general website, YouTube channel for my tutorial series here for Matthew Watson tutorials. And a good place to start, maybe if you want to get introduced to Unreal Engine 4, is to start with the Intro to UE4 series. You can find this on the playlist section and it's the Intro to UE4 series. It's approximately 17 videos, well technically literally 17 videos, and it covers everything, treating you just like you are a experienced user of a computer, but maybe not experienced with Unreal Engine. Even if you are experienced, maybe there's topics in here that will help you out. It is broken into sections, so maybe introduction to lighting, introduction to the interface, the UMG interface, a little part on sequencer, and things like that. This is a great little series if you just want to get a, I want to get into it and I want to learn how it works. In addition to that, there are almost 700 other videos on various other things, videos updated every day if you simply want to look for something in particular. The videos are usually presented in an informational fashion and they're usually intended to show blueprints and specific information on nodes, such as, well, what does this node do? And it gives you information on it. And you'll find them on a lot of topics. They are sorted by playlists, as you can see here, so that way you can easily determine if there's something you want in a certain thing, like maybe you want to know about materials. There's 83 videos on that. Maybe you want to know about what are the game nodes. Well, there's seven videos, et cetera, et cetera. There's also a few different things in here, a few more series to give you a little bit more experience, like on first-person shooters or VR. In addition to this, we have the official Unreal Engine YouTube channel. Under, You can just search for Unreal Engine, and you'll find the official channel, which has previous streams and things that they feature and live training as well as training that was pre-recorded. This is a great place to start, especially if you're looking for more information. If you open up and you look for the intro series, they do have their own introduction to Unreal Engine 4, along with more things such as, here's something on user interface for the inventory, level creation. There's some blueprint quick shots in here. There are also some material things in here. There's even a C++ series for learning C++ in Unreal Engine. Now let's say you're looking for something that is a little more informational. You want to get some information from Epic themselves about you know, their 
the, the product. They need, you, need, you need information about a specific node or a specific function. We have the official Unreal Engine website. And this is really simple to go to, and I'd recommend hitting the Learn section and then hitting Documentation. It gives you a great breakdown of all their stuff. Everything's in a nice organized fashion. Go right to what you're looking for. If you go here and then you go to like, for example, Blueprints, Visual Scripting, it's got some great quick start guides as well as a breakdown of all the different nodes. You have things such as videos, getting started, programming guide for C++, samples and tutorials. So you can see the learning resources and things like that. Now let's say after this you want some more information. You're looking for something specific or you need more real-time help, especially during a game jam, time is of the essence. Well, there's the Unreal Slackers Discord channel. If you go to unrealslackers.org and come on in, it'll get, send you a invite to the Discord channel. Discord is a web or app-based real-time chat communication platform thingy. You can chat with voice, you can chat with text. The Unreal, the Discord channel for Unreal Slackers has a couple dozen channels, different topics. You could go in, generally chat about stuff in the lounge, or you could find out more information maybe on AI or blueprints or the user interface, networking, things like that. So it's a great little place to go and hang out and try to get some help, especially when you need it semi-quickly. You can also search through the archives. Now there is one other section that I wanted to bring up, and this is going to be the learn resource on the market, the launcher itself. Now this stuff will be covered in its own separate video in regards to more detail, but if you go to the Learn tab, you'll find quick links to everything. You'll also find some projects you can quickly open up to learn specific things. And then there are also links to, for example, some highlighted things that the community has created. And that's it. It's This series is intended to just get you up and running with Unreal Engine, give you some tips, show you what Unreal Engine can do quickly, and hopefully give you the answers when you run into a problem by showing you the resources available to you as a user of Unreal Engine 4.